All right, Caravan, Chrysler Town and Country. Two things these always need. Coolant tube, which they did not too long ago. And the oil pan. So let's begin. First things first, get in there, drain your All oil. right, so again, dropping your oil, obviously. Just cracking this loose while that oil is draining. Just going around cracking my bolts loose while my pan's draining. Okay. All the way around, that bracket's coming off. We'll get to that in a second. We'll let that keep doing this thing here. All right, so I just went and worked all of these bolts around up until that one. And the only bit of advice I have is if your pan's this rusty, so are the bolts. You should use a six point, but use a 12 point. All right, now we're gonna take this bracket off right here so we can get up in there and that bell housing. All right, now that that's down to a little drip, cap that back up enough not to get rain on. And though it could drip for days, but we will actually start taking it apart. All right, so these are all loose. And you crack those two loose, two tens. We got an 18, 18. It's all right. so for this. It needs to come out of the way. So we'll work on that next. Alright, so you get those bolts out. You wear that. You need this too. That's leaking coolant. No, I'm taking this one out. I'll just go through here. This bolt right here is not an 18. Okay? The bolt is a 15. Okay? So now that's the whole point of that. Let me get that out of here. Ten off. Yeah. Ten off. Then this bell housing cover needs to come out of here like that. Keep that phone intact. Now, you got free rain in all your bolts to actually drop your pan. So let's do that. Let's crack all these tens and drop it. All right, so as you're going around, that one came out with the stud also, but these are the only two bolts that aren't the same length. They're just nuts. Everything else is just plain on them. 10 millimeter. So go all the way around, get all your bolts out. All right, tip of these pans crusty, so you're gonna have to get a screwdriver in there, something to pry it all off, work it around. Let's go grab our screwdriver. All right, not to each of them, but see. Got that moving. And all I always do is I leave a bolt in here halfway loose. So that way I can pull the bolt down with control and it's not just sitting up there with nothing. So see I got two. And then I can take it straight down like this because there's still going to be a little oil in it. So we'll take that one out and then it'll fall right up. Alright. 
clean this bad boy up. Swamp our gasket. Put a new one in. All right, then we can go through here with a little bit of brake clean and clean the surface. If you actually need to clean it with a cookie, whether you're on the street or not, Milwaukee makes an electric grinder that you could hook it up to. But really, you're supposed to use the one that's got a bunch of little fingers. The disc with like 100 little fingers. It's like rubber. So you don't want to eat that surface, but get that nice and clean. Put this down so I can bolt this. And we'll put a gasket and a pan back in it, baby. Here's your torque. All right, then, if you need to, it should come with those. You shouldn't have to because you have that stud right there and the bell housing. Your gasket will stay intact, so you'll be fine. Shove your pan right up over it. And once you get over this cooling tube, right here, all you have to do is find that stud. Still be lined up relatively enough. You might have to play with a little bit. That's to be expected. So I'll put that nut on there to start, and then it'll help you a lot. Just a little bit, just to hold it. All right, we'll start with one good, good distance away from the one we started. Now our pan will actually be up in the air. And if you look, you don't need those guides. It's all pretty much perfectly lined up enough where you can manipulate the gasket. So we're gonna go through by hand and get each bolt started. To make sure nothing strips or any problems. So let's go through and finger tighten each one a few turns all the way down the line. Actually, I almost forgot before I get too ahead of myself. They want a dab of RTV on the flat, okay? Of both. Alright, and back. Alright, so you have RTV right there. RTV right there. Then you put your gasket on everything back up. And with the stud goes right here. Okay, going around, I'm gonna torque it down here in a second. All right, 140 inch pounds. Working around, working around, tightening up. Pan all torqued, bell housing cover can go back on, bracket can go back on up top. And last but not least, I would suggest changing your filter and filling it with oil. Just be done with it completely. And that is one oil pan on the town and country or the caravan. And if it's the next generation style where the back is kind of box shaped, it's still the same procedure. Same pan rots out, same coolant tube rots out. So always like, subscribe, comment. You got a question, we'll get back to you. Appreciate it.